both the Draytech Vigor 2860 and Vigor 2925 multi-WAN routers are fitted with two USB ports. These can be used as WAN interfaces by plugging in a supported 3G or 4G USB dongle. In this video, I will show you how to configure these routers to connect to a supported 4G USB modem to provide high-speed connectivity over the 4G network. The supported 4G USB modems that will be covered in this video are the Optus Hawaii E3276 4G USB modem, the Vodafone prepaid K5150 4G USB modem, and the Telstra prepaid ZTE MF823 4G USB modem. We will need to first log into the router. Now go to WAN General Setup Configuration menu. You should note that WAN 3 corresponds to USB port 1 and WAN 4 corresponds to USB port 2. Click on WAN 3 to go to WAN 3 Configuration menu. Now select Yes for Enable. Set Active Mode for Always On and click OK to save. The router will now restart. Once the router has restarted, log into the router again. Now we need to enable the USB WAN port. To do this, we go to WAN Internet Access Configuration menu page. For WAN 3, we select the access mode to be 3G 4G USB modem, which is the DHCP mode. Now click on the Details button and select Enable. For the network mode, there are several options. We will choose the default option, which is 4G, 3G and 2G. The next step is to enter the APN name. The APN name will correspond to the service provider that the 4G modem will be connected to. For the Optus modem, we need to use the APN name Connect. For Vodafone, the APN name is live.vodafone.com. And for Telstra, we use the APN name Telstra.internet. I will be using the Telstra 4G modem here, so I will enter Telstra.internet for the APN name. We will leave the other settings at default values. Now click OK to save the settings. Now that we have finished the configuration, we just need to plug the 4G modem into the router and wait about 30 seconds for the connection to come up. To check if the 4G connection comes up, we go to the online status physical connection menu and check WAN3 status. You should see WAN3 has a valid IP address and the USB modem status will be operational and signal quality is also shown. Now we can test the connection by trying to connect to our website. I will try going to draytech.com.au We can see the connection is now working. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to our website www.draytech.com.au or you can send an email to sales at draytech.com.au.